today, today we're starting off with myself, Prasant, and of course, our CMO, Manju. So let's actually begin. All right. Yep. Let's do that. All right. Let's start. Let's start this together, Manju. All right. You can you can have your introduction. <laughs> I can have my introduction. <laughs> So welcome, welcome to, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, all of you guys who join us every single time we come up with Pando updates. And uh, I think moving forward, Mainnet 2.0 is going to be very different. The approach is going to be really, really different from how uh, we looked at Mainnet 1.0. So I think uh, the, the, the whole idea of the project is going to change because we have expanded so much. We have built on top of our very strong basement so much that uh, we had a very good place. And uh, we wanna make sure that step-by-step uh, step, the community follows uh, pursuit with the, with the development and the advancement technology has been uh, uh, yeah. growing in Panda Project. So allow us to always be here to hold your hand and guide you uh, towards the advancement that we, we are looking at so that you get the same view as us. So welcome to Panda Project, where technology is powered by you. So yep. let's start, Prashant. I think we all know technology powered by community. That's what we're all about, <laughs> except now moving forward is going to be a lot more. There's a lot more opportunities for the community right. to, number one, be able to innovate, be able to get involved, be able to, 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 to expand, you know, and and be able to really dive into the project in in with a lot more layers. Yep. Yeah. You know, so this is this is what we have today is some really exciting stuff. And yeah. uh, let's actually just begin with the with the entire highlight. Yeah. What else if it is not our handsome right. and dashing CTO? <laughs> so our CTO, Chief uh, uh Chief Logan Adan Regan Adan, he he did the conference, right? He he did, he was the keynote speaker of uh, Mainnet 2.0 of World Blockchain Summit, and what what we were doing there is that we were launching the Mainnet 2.0. And let me tell you guys something: if for those of you who did not manage to join the Zoom meeting, uh, I think we had a very 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 good reception. Yep. I think pe there were people that were cheering. There were people that was there were, woo! you know, they were just yeah. all clapping their hands. And and it, what we what we brought to World Blockchain Summit was very very different. Did, um, I mean I was I was uh, at the booth with the uh, entire management, so I could really see um, exactly what all the blockchain projects that attended, all the other blockchain projects that attended, and that had a booth and and uh, they had the whole works going on. I, I realized that. This 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 entire market that we are stepping into, finally we're doing it. I think uh, physically we're physically expanding and and participating into these type of events. And I think what we have in our hands here as as community members is something really really special because every time when we introduce the project to somebody that walks up to the booth, whether they are high level, a uh, high level minister in Thailand. Or whether they are, you know, part of another blockchain project that was just a couple boots away, or whether they were just a delegate, and a, and a delegate in World Blockchain Summit basically means that they were just attendees. So we had a lot of different types of people with different types of background, with different types of knowledge on blockchain and crypto. And every time they would come to our booth, they would just be like, "Wow, you guys are really community powered." And a lot of the a lot of the other blockchain projects that were there, they were they were looking for. Um, of course, it's not a bad thing. It's just I'm talking about exactly what the environment was so you guys can really, really picture it. But a lot of people were searching for investors. A lot of people were looking for uh, just really straight up collaborations. A lot of people were just looking to invest as well. There were so many different types of people. And um, we're very proud to say that what, what we have here together in this panel project is something that we really should pat our ourselves in the back for I'm not talking about us just me or Manju or, or 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 Chief Logan or Chief Nava you know I'm talking about all of us as community members this is this is a very sizable project that we've built and in 2023 the way that a lot of people how they feel and uh, uh, how we feel as well is very likewise I think 2023 is really going to be our year 
You know, I really think that 2023, there's going to be a lot of major collaborations. There's going to be a lot of uh, utilization, adoption, mass scale. I'm not talking about we're just developing one or two apps. I'm talking about real world use case. And that's that's because of this man right here that delivered that entire speech. True. So, so, so well. So let's move forward so you guys can see the entire stage. This was yeah. a close-up. But, but before was... we move, I really want to share with uh, all of these people in this meeting. You know, I really want to share this because it was so heartwarming uh, for me, especially because do you guys see this, this beautiful yeah. thing that he's wearing? <laughs> so he really took technology powered by Combiti to a whole new whole new level because this was done by our community member, our very strong leader in our community. You know, they they did this and made sure that he wore this and uh, launched Mainnet 2.0 while wearing it. And this is something very special because it's handmade yeah. by our community from uh, East Malaysia. And uh, it, it is so sweet. And he for somebody who's, you know, wearing coat and suit, he took something so traditional, something so close to somebody's culture and took yeah. it on stage. And a lot of people actually asked me, what is it that he's wearing? And our CEO was also wearing it. And th th this really shows how close-knitted community we have. And uh, it is something that uh, really shined uh, in, in WBS. It's something that really, really stood out uh, especially with having so many country partners coming on board. You know, they asked who's the CEO. Of course, everybody knows the CEO is Chief now, but then we also have CEO of Korea, we have CEO of India, yeah. we have CEO of, you know, Malaysia and, 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 and in Indonesia and all of that. So it's very, very unique and people were so fascinated. And I just really wanted to share that. This, this little thing says a lot about our project and yep. uh, we really walk our talk. So this, this is, I just wanted to share that before we go to the next slide, showing again, once again, how beautiful the event looked. You know, it was a very professional setting. So, you know, usually people come, they talk about their project and people listen and they have questions and on. But ours was, even, even, uh, even the presentation, even though it was a serious speech, it was a keynote, people were clapping, people were cheering. We had teaser going on. We were one of the only project that actually launched something, had a video, all of that. So it was a very di different environment and people were really crowded for uh, our chief Logan's talk. So it was very, very nice. I, I wish we can uh, really show you guys the actual environment, but watch us, it catches live in uh, YouTube. The, the whole entire video is up there. And I think uh, the, the best part about this is what is happening today. You can see that on the right side. And, yeah. <laughs> and of course, what is happening today at on the 8th, on the 9th of uh, December at the WBS and what is happening today on the 19th of December, it are two completely different things because we just, it's a blockchain company. It is a blockchain project and things move extremely fast. And that's why, when uh, Chief Logan launched the Mainnet 2.0, immediately a lot of things started changing. We introduced a lot of new terminologies, a lot of new softwares, a lot of new technologies, a lot of new uh, ways to reward our community members, and a lot of good news that, come, that came along with that. So I think our World Blockchain Summit with, the, with all of the atten attendees, with all of the support, uh, with all of the reception that we received, I would say it was, a, it was an absolute... Success, really, it really was. It was brilliant. Yeah. So let's let's actually take a move on. Let let me let let us share with you exactly what Chief Logan was talking about at the Mainnet 2.0 launch, right in the World Blockchain Summit. So he, Chief Logan, he was talking about the Panda project as a blockchain infrastructure. All right. So this blockchain infrastructure is a service that we provide for, uh, you know. Uh, apps, existing apps, existing websites, existing platforms, existing systems for developers, for governments, for institutes, for just write about anybody and everyone who wants to utilize our blockchain. Because what we have in this project is really unlike anything else out there. Uh, and the reason why I say that is because a lot of the projects out there, they either they have the 
they just have the nodes, but they don't have too many of the nodes. Either they have the they have the apps, the dApps, but they don't they, they're using a CDN server, or they might be providing some sort of solution, but it's just a it's just one solution. Some of them are just a cryptocurrency project, some of them are an NFT project. What we have here is quite a number of things. And let me introduce these number of things to you. All right. So this is how a blockchain infrastructure is a service. So these developers or these existing apps or platforms or websites or systems or softwares even, they can utilize our blockchain, utilize, when I say the blockchain, I'm talking about the, the Zitatron, Metatron, talking about the Ramatrons, I'm talking about the entire network, the Pando network, right? To decentralize file sharing and editing, to decentralize internet of things, to decentralize artificial intelligence, to decentralize security. Let me just give you a very, uh, a very close to heart or close to home example. We live in a pretty centralized world as of today, as of now, before Panda Project expands in 2023. As of today, if we if we were to step into our local banks, you would see several CCTVs. Right, you'll see several CCTVs, and these these security cameras are CCTVs, right? So they hold about ninety days of footage in that bank each each security camera. So let's just say in your local bank in your street or in your city, they have about ten security cameras. So that's about ten security cameras holding ninety days of information, ninety days of video data, live streaming it on top of that. So there's a few things. There's storage, video storage. There is uh, video live streaming, right? And video storage and video live streaming is extremely expensive for security companies, right? That's why they can only hold this information up to 90 days. After that, they've got to clean it up and go on to the next one, the next day, the next day, the next day, right? And, and the reason the reason being is because it is extremely costly to store data in 2022. And it's going to become even more costly as these security cameras upgrade from 180p to maybe 4K live footage from each security camera, right? So for us to be able to do that, you'd have to reduce the infrastructure costs. And that's where our blockchain infrastructure as a service comes into play. So now I've given you a very very good example, right? How a security company can reduce the infrastructure cost by using the Panda project, right? So the same thing can be applied to artificial intelligence, to internet of things, to file sharing and editing. There's, there's, there's certain collaborations that we have at hand right now that want to work with us on these exact things. And that's why we can actually list, the, list these things down. So let's move on to the next. So let me introduce you to... The next few, this is what is uh, it allows us to provide a full-fledged service. This is a full-on blockchain infrastructure as, as a service. So we have the actual blockchain, right, which is powered by the Zitatron, Metatron, and the Ramatron, right? And then we've got the smart contracts, the smart contracts that allow uh, anybody to build softwares or develop on the Panda Project blockchain itself. People that want to develop apps or websites or people want to develop a system, they can do that on the Panda Project because we have our own smart contracts. This, this entire blockchain project that we have is native. We are not building it on top of somebody else's blockchain project. This is ours, 100% ours. It's mine and yours and, 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 and all of the community members. The same thing goes to NFTs. Anybody can build their own NFT platform on the Panda Project. Anybody can build uh, or, or, or buy and sell and trade NFTs in, in, in 2023, even for dApps as well. So for existing, uh, I, I spoke to a developer in uh, a couple of developers in the World Blockchain Summit. A lot of them want to shift and want to find for the next platform to develop on. So they they were asking us about what our project is like, and a lot of them a lot of them assume that our project is a startup and we haven't gotten any community members. But you know, I I I explained to them that we started off by building the community first. Only then did the did the, did the technology come into play. And these community members that we have, which is all of you here attending this meeting today, we are all pioneers. 
of this technology. This is the world's first blockchain infrastructure as a service. And this is what you have built. This is what you are a part of. And that's why we are moving into mainnet 2.0. That's what Chief Logan was talking about at World Blockchain Summit. We are the world's first blockchain infrastructure as a service. And, and that's because we provide blockchain, we provide the smart contracts, we provide NFTs, we provide dApps, a platform where you can build dApps on, you can migrate existing dApps as well to reduce your infrastructure costs, solve your last mile delivery issues, and be able to have accessibility to a plug and play blockchain infrastructure without any headache. That's what 2023 is going to be all about. Let's move forward. So this is, this is the very core of uh, what we are doing here. So initially, we were, we were looking at you know, decentralized storage, decentralized transcoding, decentralized streaming and live streaming. Now, this is a service for anybody that wants to be able to access decentralized storage or decentralized transcoding or decentralized streaming. We have the Panda Project. And you have to understand that there's not many projects that do it the way that we do it. And this is a very, very unique, powerful, and extremely potential project that could very well be a leader in this industry, right? And we are the pioneers of blockchain infrastructure as a service. We are the first. So this is what your Ramatrons are in for. This is what your Metatrons are in for. This is what your PTX is in for. Just, so just imagine what 2023 is going to be like. All I know is that previously, we were all looking at the PTX reaching a dollar, one USD per PTX. Now that's not the case anymore. Now that's, that's a totally different digit and it's a lot more higher. That's all I can say. Let's take a look at the next slide. So this is what I was talking about, plug and play. So our blockchain is, is not a blockchain where, for example, you'd have to completely pick up uh, where the Panda project left off. You know, for example, uh, there are some blockchain projects where they are not completely open source. We are completely open source. You can immediately just plug and play. That means if you already have an existing application, it is extremely easy for you to just migrate your application or your website or your platform or your software from a centralized environment to a decentralized environment with the Panda project. And the same thing can be applied for anybody that wants to build on top of, uh, on top of the Panda project. So it's just plug and play. So extremely easy migration is extremely accessible. It's extremely affordable. It is extremely efficient. So this is what we are offering. So check us out on GitHub. <clears throat> a lot of us, if, I'm not too sure whether everybody knows and understands what GitHub is, but GitHub practically is, a, is an open source uh, website where it shows you exactly what powers this entire blockchain, what coding is used to build this blockchain. And if, if we put it all out there because we want this Panda project, right, to not be something that we are just holding, holding close to ourselves and it's only for Panda Joe, Panda Go, Show Us, TutorX, Vixel, is for anyone and everyone to come and develop on or to utilize this blockchain project. And the more people that utilize this blockchain project, the more rewards that your Ramatrons will earn. And that's why right now, the PandaLab management team and the PandaLab developer team are currently working out the best way to reward everybody with all of their respective Ramatron nodes. And we have four. We don't just have one Ramatron. We have four types of Ramatron. We've got Ramatron Mobile, Ramatron Lite, Ramatron Pro, Ramatron Enterprise, and all of these respective nodes. Uh, some of it has, has is already open for staking, like Ramatron Mobile and Ramatron Lite. Then we've got Ramatron Pro and Enterprise coming, coming up. So we have made this technology accessible for everyone. And rewarding, that's the most important thing. Or not, we would not have that community community empowerment aspect because we'd have to be able to reward our community members for giving up a little bit of their bandwidth or their resources or, or participating in the network. You have to be rewarded. And that's why we have Chief Manju here. That's why we have Chief Nava here to explain to you exactly what is ahead of us with these new Ramatrons. But all I can say is to those of you who have restaked into your Ramatron, you guys are making the best decision of your lives because what you're, what you're doing exactly is, just imagine this, 
we are building a, we're building a entire network worldwide. And every one of you who has a Ramatron practically has said, hey, I have this tower right here. It exists exactly where you are located right now. And this tower is in charge of trans decentralized transcoding, decentralized stories, decentralized live streaming, decentralized AI, security, IoT, all of these things. And just imagine the amount of activity that's coming in on the Panda project and your Ramatron is in charge of delivering all of these activities, right? So you are a pioneer in this industry. So thank you so much. And this is essentially what Chief Logan was delivering in the mainnet 2.0 WBS launch. And that's why there was so much of claps because this is a very noble project, a very smart project, and a, and, and a project where it involves the most important aspect, which is the community. All right, so let's move forward. And of course, we have our Panda protocols and this new Panda protocols allow us to be able to expand. Without these Panda protocols, there's, there's a lot of things that we can't do, right? I'll show you the example. So right now we have PNC20 and that's uh, for PTX and the Panda blockchain. And Panda blockchain supported cryptocurrencies and even Panda blockchain supported dApps that utilize the PTX or utilize a different cryptocurrency. All of it will be used, uh, all of it will use PNC20. So PNC20 is like, it's a lot like TRC20 when you're transferring Tether, right? So TRC20 is for Tether, PNC20 is for Panda tokens or anything to do, anything to do with the Panda blockchain. Now that's for PTX, that is a fungible token. Now, what about non-fungible tokens or better known as NFTs? That is on the network called PNC721. So you can send and receive NFTs with PNC721. This, as soon as we have our up and coming NFT platform, NFT marketplace, not platform. It is an NFT marketplace, right? You'll be able to utilize the PNC721 across all of these wallets that I have ahead of you. Once you, you can go to the next slide. So these are the wallets I was talking about. So without the Panda protocols, we wouldn't be able to do this. So the PTX is supported by all new wallets. We have the Atom Atomic Wallet. We have Wallet Connect. We have Trust Wallet. We have MetaMask Wallet. How many users is that? That's about 40, 44. That is about 50, 54 million users, all right? Worldwide, we have tapped into this market of people, all right? Just think about, think about the utilization, the adoption. We are preparing, we are setting up the entire rocket and every time we are, every time we have this brand new update, and of course, we've got a very exciting news for all of you that's coming up in July, 2023, June, July, 2023. And we are going to be saying the same thing. Get ready for the rocket. We are about to launch. Get ready for the lock rocket. We're about to launch. Because every time we launch, we end up on a different, on a different level. And from there, we're going to launch again. We end up on a different level. So in 2023, we are going to go on to a different level. Right now, we're focused on right now. We are preparing to launch onto the next level. So before we look at 2023, June, July, secure your Ramatrons today. Secure your PTX today. Buy and hold your PTX now. Because in 2023, it's going to be a totally different project. Right? And we are preparing everybody that we can. So it would be great if you can share all of this information with your friends, families, with your community members, especially the information that's ahead of this as well. So let's move forward. So create your MetaMask wallet today for PTX. And we have a guide on how to create a MetaMask wallet and how you can store your PTX onto your MetaMask because we have a lot of utilization ahead of us next year. A lot of it, um, my, 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 guess, my guess is that a lot of it will be utilizing MetaMask wallet. So just try to go, go and transfer some PTX, go and buy some PTX, extra PTX after you've staked your Ramatron and just send some to your MetaMask wallet. You know, hold some, uh, hold some PTX in your MetaMask wallet. And there's a lot of reasons why, because next year is going to be a crazy year. Yeah. So let's move on to the next one. I think, Manju, this one's for you. Yep, this one yep. is for me. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Prashant. I think that was uh that was very, very uh clear on what mainnet 
2.0 is all about its bias <laughs> blockchain infrastructure as, as a service. service yep so that that's that's really great that's exactly what was presented by our CTO in WBS and moving forward that's that's what we are we are no longer just limiting ourselves to be the developers we are we have created the highway anybody yeah. can be a developer on top of, of this project whether you are somebody with uh, an app whether you're somebody with a software whether you're just somebody with a great idea this is the yeah. place for you and uh, it's it's great it's great what we are doing and we just want you to be on board with that so moving forward uh, there's a lot of changes that has taken place as well in mainnet 2.0 considering the amount of uh, development that the ecosystem is about to take on and uh, what the Ramatrons are going to do. So that's the reason why we have introduced public node. So I think I've, uh, in my previous update, I think week three, if I'm not mistaken, I have actually uh, talked about public node in, uh, in, a, in, in a good amount of depth. We've also done a good posting on public node and what it is, uh, what's the difference between a public node and the Ramatron node? Why was public node even created in the first place? So I'm just going to give, I'm just going to touch very, uh, very lightly on the topic because we've already discussed this. But to those of you who are new, public node was created because in mainnet 1.0, Ramatrons did a lot of jobs. You know, Ramatrons were supposed to uh, do the engagement part, do the relaying, do, doing the uh, transcoding and all of that. But besides that job, it also supported the chain, meaning that it supported all of the blockchain work that uh, is required. So what happened in mainnet 1.0 is that the Ramatron took on too much of load for the chain support. So what it happened is all the resources from the Ramatron software, which was only one type of software at that point of time, under a, a, a laptop or a computer, right? So all the resources went to just chain support and they didn't generate enough reward or, or participate enough in the ecosystem for engagement. So what we did it, it just to make sure that the engagement can be a lot more efficient, can be a lot more uh, fluent and smoother and the resources are used for the engagement and not for chain support, we have uh, separated it. So now Ramatrons do what they were actually designed to do. And this public node is a new node that we created just to do the chain support. So that's the reason why public node was created. That's also the reason why uh, for mobile and light, you guys have been staking to public node because public node does the chain support and your proof of stake is a on-chain process right now. It's an on-chain protocol, which is taken care by the public node. That's the reason why you're staking there, but soon enough during activation, you'll download the Ramatron and do the engagement work. So we've done it separately. Your wallet is staking to a public node, but your wallet will be connected to a Ramatron software to do the engagement work. So that's how it's gonna work. So that's the, that's the whole reason why public node was created. But if you wanna learn more, just follow us on Instagram, follow us in Telegram. We post a lot of information about these things and you can even communicate with us. So essentially right now in the Pando network, we have uh, the Zithatron node and the Metatron node who are the governance node, or we call the validator node. And these are held by countries, by country partners, by country representatives, and the public node right now at this point of time, which we will be revealing later, much later, under the exciting news part, public nodes are also ha have a little bit of changes compared to what you guys have been seeing in the Explorer during your mobile and light staking. So we'll touch back in public node in, in a few more slides to go, right? And then Ramatron nodes, I think uh, all of us know that from having one Ramatron right now, we have four Ramatrons. So that's exciting. And because we have a lot of Ramatron nodes, we have, uh, we have community members who have pros who are looking at uh, enterprise and they also want to be a light owner and they also want to be a mobile owner. They have a bunch of different types of Ramatrons to manage. And that's the reason why we created Ramatron management system. 
So as soon as pros and enterprise staking is released, a Ramatron management system, how it works, the guides for it, the video tutorial for it, all of that will be released. And uh, it will be very easy for everybody to just look through whether this is functioning, how much has it earned, and how much do I need to pay for rent if you're using Pro and Enterprise, when is due, every single information in under one interface. So it's we just created this so that community members have an easy life, right? So manage multiple Ramatrons. Don't worry about, oh my God, will it be a, much of a headache if I have too much? Fret not, okay? We've already created a system that helps you manage them. So that's Ramatron management system. So now let's, let's go to the topic where things are really important, right? The migration phase, I think we have... Uh, we have done successfully the stages really, really well so far. I don't see any problems that are coming back. I think the community have been following the steps very, very well. So we started with releasing the rewards, the four cycles worth of reward back to the Panda wallets in batches. And that was done. And then people started create, creating wallets in mainnet 2.0. And uh, a lot of them have logged into their old one and transferred all of their assets to the new wallet. Nobody have any issues. You know, the, everybody were doing everything very well. The guides were released. People were following them. Uh, people were communicating in the group. It was very nice to see. And, and then we opened up uh, staking for Ramatron Mobile and um, Ramatron Lite in stage one. So we have sectioned it into a few stages so that, you know, everybody are moving at the same time. Uh, pace and uh, stage one was rather successful a lot of people have staked into mobile and light and uh, you know they had enough uh, of tokens with the rewards uh, that were given to just take into light and uh, mobile so the guides were also released because right now you're staking to public note instead of you know a ramatron id so things were a little bit different but you guys did a good job so right now, right now, at this point of time, after the WBS, we have released all of the uh, node stake back to the old Panda wallets. So you guys can now move forward to stage two. So stakings will be open for stage two very, very soon. And make sure that you guys transfer all of the stakings that has been released to your new wallet before you do any staking for Pro and Enterprise. Just a soft reminder, Whenever we are releasing a stake, it's going to your old wallet. So you log into your old wallet, make sure you transfer them to your new wallet before you do any single staking, right? Or you're sending or anything. Make sure you transfer it first and then start your activity. So once this migration is over, which is very soon, it's not going to take very long. Once this is done, we will start activation. That's where... Uh, you guys will download the software and uh, the, the whole activation period is going to be very different, but very easy. I would say if you guys are a pioneer who have been in this project since Mainnet 1.0, I think Mainnet 2.0 activation is a lot more easier. It, there's no Ramatron IDs, you know, it's very exciting, but we'll talk about it when, when we are in activation period, yeah? So migration phase right now, we are about to go to stage two. And all of the stakings, your Ramatron staking has been released. It's in your old wallet. So please log in and transfer them to your new wallet and then stake to your favorite Ramatrons or multiple Ramatrons, okay? If you are new here, if you are new, you have not done uh, the new wallet, you know, all of this green ticks, you're like, whoops, I have not done that yet. <laughs> so no worries, no worries. It's still, we're still in migration phase. So what you can do is, go and take a look at our Telegram group or website. We have a guide for creating a new wallet. All you have to do is start migrating from your old wallet to a new wallet. If you're a new community member who just joined, all you have to do is just create. You don't have anything to transfer, but just create a new wallet and that's where you should be staking. Yep. So the guide is available in Panda Project Telegram group and uh, the website. So during this entire migration period, we have made it a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot easier for the community. We made sure that the transaction fee is 0.03 per transaction, 
meaning that no matter what the amount that you are transferring or staking any activities, it's 0.03 PTX per transaction. It's no longer tied to PTX. Previously used to be per PTX. But mind you that 0.03 PTX is only for the migration period. It's a lower gas fee only for migration period. Once the migration period is over, it will be increased to 0.1 PTX per transaction. Yeah. So I think the Metatrons are a little bit happy listening to this. So let's move forward. So as you guys know, there are four different types of Ramatron. Today, I'm going to go through the entire thing. And very soon, I think uh, in Wednesday, we will be releasing a handbook. A handbook meaning that I would call it a Ramatron Bible. <laughs> so everything you need to know about these Ramatrons, we will be releasing the information in a handbook, meaning that uh, whatever you need to know about mobile, how much to stake, uh, how do you stake, and uh, uh, what are the specification, and uh, what is the referral reward, how much am I going to earn, and uh, all of those information is going to be put into one handbook. And it will be given to you because it's a lot more easier that way, right? So as you guys know, we have Ramatron Enterprise, which is on cloud server, Ramatron Lite on laptop, and a Ramatron Mobile, which can be on tablets too. We also have Ramatron Pro on cloud server. So let's take a brief look. This is not the handbook, but a brief look through. And I'm going to guide you guys through a few changes as well. All right, pre-order your Ramatrons in Pando Mainnet 2.0. Why do I say pre-order? Let's take a look at that. All right, so as you guys know, we have Ramatron Mobile, which is a pocket rocket, as we say it. So earn crypto from your pocket or tablet, which is available in uh, iOS and also Android. It's a very small amount of staking requirement, which is 250 PTX. And yearly, you get 10% of proof of stake. Yep. So engagement reward is the same 0 0.01875 PTX per minute, which is 60 seconds. So you get 5% referral reward every time you refer to a friend or family. Very straightforward, right? So what has changed is that right now, the booking fee is free, right? We allow as many people to stake into a mobile for free. There's no charges at all. But moving forward, as our community expand, I think at a very good amount, we will start having booking fee. So right now, we are we are allowing all the community to come on board. Where we're we're taking this, we're not going to limit them to like migration phase. You know, this is the only time you get to do this. No, it's going to be free for a while, but uh, soon enough, there's going to be booking fee. So if you are in this meeting today, please just take. If you, if you already have a phone and you're already thinking about Remitron Mobile, stop thinking, go and stake, right? It's just 250 PTX. You do not want to pay a booking fee later on to, to stake a Remitron Mobile. So do it today. Don't, don't push it to tomorrow, push it to next week. Don't do that. Just book it while it's still free. Yeah. Same goes to Remitron Lite. So Remitron Lite, as, at this point of time, it is still free. Booking fee is free you guys can go and just stake. There's no booking fee required. So what you need to do is uh, make sure that you have 1,000 PTX and stake it to Ramatron Lite. So there's two types of Ramatron Lite, as you guys know. One that you can put it on top of a laptop or a computer and another one that you can put it on cloud server. So if you are looking into putting it on a cloud server, you're like, okay, I do not want to put it onto my laptop. I don't, I don't want to crowd my laptop. I do not want, uh, I do not want to worry about things. I just want to put it on a server and let it run all the way through throughout the year. You can do that, but the specification will be the same as Ramatron Pro. So if you guys take a look at Ramatron Pro specification, that's the same for light S, light that you're putting on a server. Yeah. So same thing, you guys are getting 10% yearly out of your proof of stake and rewards for engagement is 0 .01, 0 0.01875 PTX per minute. And you also get a 5% referral fee every time you refer to a friend. And mind you, your booking fee is free right now. So go and stake it, all right? This is what we've been waiting for. So we are at Pro now. Pro 
uh, we have a very, 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 very special promotion that we are running at this point of time. Uh, you guys know that Pro is the staking requirement is 10,000 PTX. That doesn't change. That is going to be the same throughout. Your yearly staking rewards will be 12% and your proof of engagement will be 0 0.01875 PTX per minute. But we are allowing a three days window for Pro. Yeah. What, the, what do I mean by three days window for Pro? It means that your booking fee is free for three days. So for these three days, just until Wednesday, you can stake for Pro without a booking fee, just for free. Sounds exciting. <laughs> but if you refer it within these three days, there's no rewards because we are absorbing the cost for Pro for just these three days. We're allowing, uh, I, I, I've, I've known a bunch of community members that have already had Pro in their mind for a very long time. And we just want to give them a sh very short window for them to stake just specifically for our Pendu community. You guys can stake for free in three days, just these three days. Please make sure that you do it very quickly because the staking has been released and you have four weeks worth of uh, rewards that has been given. And if it's still not enough, we have two exchanges for you to purchase right now. So go ahead and purchase and stake it today. All right. Uh, ever since um, this, this three days, after these three days, you will also be receiving a referral reward of 10%. All right. We will be increasing uh, the rewards for Pro only to 10%. So let's do a comparison. What actually happens during these three days and what's going to happen after these three days? What am I looking at on Thursday, Manju, right? <laughs> so, okay, I've put it up in a easier to look at slide. So until the 21st December, until the 21st December, the booking fee is free, meaning that you don't have to pay a booking fee like Enterprise, but you still need to stake 10,000 PTX for you to you know, establish or or, or or book or grab a Ramatron Pro today in these three days. What you need to do is just pay for your server costs. We have finalized the server costs. A lot of you have been contacting uh, HQ and country partners. What is the server cost? You know, I'm really looking into Pro and Enterprise. Well, we have already finalized the figure, which I'm going to talk to you guys in, in the next two slides. But this is what you need to pay. You just need to pay for your own server. We're going to be paying server quarterly, which means that every three months, you need to make a payment. We're not going to do it monthly. So for Pro, the server fee is $50 per month. So when you're paying it quarterly, it means that you're paying $150 for each quarter. So that's what you need to pay upfront. And when you do this in these three days, even though you're not paying a booking free, you are still getting a threshold. Meaning that we will make sure that there's a cutoff for your proof of engagement. You do not earn <coughs> you do not earn anything lesser than what you can afford to pay for a server. So that's what threshold means. And now to what's going to happen after 21st December is that you will have to pay a booking fee of USD 600. So these three days actually is a very big opportunity if you are a pioneer, if you are in this meeting, and if you have friends who are also looking into being a Ramatron Pro note holder, please stake within these three days because after these three days, it's going to be USD $600. Yeah. And this $600, what is going to happen is the server fee will be covered for the first quarter. The licensing fee will be paid off and there will be threshold that will be given. So that's what you're paying to. You have licensing fee, you have your threshold, which means that you will maintain a certain price for proof of engagement throughout and you're paying for the server rental fee. All of this is covered within the booking fee. But this booking fee of $600 will only last for all the way up to 31st January. The moment 31st January is over, you're looking at 1st February, the price will be increased to $2,000. Yep, that's happening, guys. But the stake is going to remain the same, 10,000 PTX for a Ramatron Pro. So I hope this is clear because now we're going to move forward to a Ramatron Enterprise. So Ramatron Enterprise, a lot of you guys have already done your booking of 1,500, right? 
So you also know that your staking requirement is 35,000 PTX uh, per node. And your yearly staking reward, of course, it's the highest among all Ramatrons. It's 15% yearly. So your engagement reward is the same, 0 0.01875 PTX per second. So your engagement... Uh, your engagement doesn't change, but if, if eventually you'll have the largest amount of engagement because you support live streaming, right? So for your referral reward, it is still 5%. You'll be earning USD 75 out of this booking fee, but we are about to change the price to 5,000. I think we've been already uh, warning you guys about this way back, few months back, and we told that we will be changing the price after WBS. So now is the time of <laughs> WBS is over. Uh, we are just giving a little bit of leeway because it's Christmas and there's a lot of celebration coming. Uh, the best we can give is up till 2nd January. After 2nd January, the blockchain will, will change and the protocols will change. The booking fee will become 5000 Yeah, $5,000. So you have a very small window. Have a good Christmas. If you are getting a good Ang Pao's for Christmas, save them because you have big booking fees to pay yeah all right so that's ramatron enterprise so for those of you who are still having the server fee in your mind i'm here i'm here guys i'm going to talk to you about it so server rental fee uh has been finalized the ramatron pro like i said earlier it is only usd 50 per month and we will be paying quarterly which means three months every three months we'll be paying uh a a, a fee of 150 if $50 per month for three months you're paying 150 for Ramatron Enterprise because of the load that it will be doing and and the amount of things that it needs to do it is 150 per month it is the largest Ramatron that we have and it takes on the largest load so we will also be paying it quarterly what is very important here is that Ramatron Pro and Ramatron Enterprise is very, very essential to our ecosystem. It does one of the most important tasks, which is storing and live streaming. So when we are positioning ourselves as buyers, business, infrastructure as a service, these two things are very, very important, which is why it needs to be handled by Pendolab. So Ramatron Pro and Ramatron Enterprise is only available for node holders that rent server with Pendolab, because only then we are uh, we are allowed to make changes for you. We're allowed to maintain a threshold for you. All of this cannot be done if you're going to put it onto another server. So it's very important that these two nodes are are with the server that uh, we can talk with, negotiate with. So I hope this is very very clear. Ramatron Pro and Ramatron Enterprise is only available for node holders that rent server with Pendolab. So now, now that I've given you a lot of information, we're always going to pass to our one and only CEO because he comes with, that's right, great news. <laughs> he only comes with great news. <laughs> Hi there, boss. How are you? I'm good, Manju. How are you? I am Hi, good. Hi, guys. Uh, our chief marketing officer and uh, chief communication officers. Guys, you guys are getting very, very good. <laughs> I, I, I love the I love the way that you're doing this. This is amazing, and uh, I know the moment Manju say it, uh, wow, the notes are not available for. Uh, you cannot bring in your own server. I know there are some of us that are involved in some server business, right? And uh, it will be good as far as country partners are concerned, who are here, I believe, uh, some country partners in this meeting, and also there are also I would say. There are a lot of metatrons in this meeting and a lot of leaders in this meeting yeah. who are always associated with servers and uh, somehow you have got servers and you can get good price and all sorts of things. This is not about good pricing, guys. Right? I know Pando Server recently put out, guys, come and take Remitron Pro quickly. I give it to you at $15 and $20. Mm -hmm. This is not about $15 and $20. This is about our project. We want to make sure storage, storing, and streaming, which is our which is our core area of our entire business. Yep. It's done smoothly, it's done professionally, it's done across the globe so that we can bring in Panda Joe and sing sing the song that we want to sing with Panda Joe. We want to bring in Futurac, we want to bring in all our applications. And then we have right now uh, a lot of uh, applications out there who wants to come in uh, 
join us as sub chain, we need to provide the bias like what the uh, uh, Boss Manju and Boss Pasan was talking about, all right, having our infrastructure in place. So I'm glad to announce to all of you the pro servers and enterprise servers. There is no service available for public. In other words, public cannot come in as server providers for this. Yep. It's only those servers that is decided by and has gone through the criteria that our developers and our uh, what do you call a uh, technology department wants this type of servers and this kind of agreements that they have uh, MOUs with some of them, and uh, they are very particular about this. So that is why. If you find, wow, you know, I thought I can uh, simply get a server somewhere. I know, I know our sales department today, uh, Boss Grubin was saying, you know, there's a lot of people who wants who have their own servers. Yes, guys, I know you have your own servers, but more important than you having your server, we are. You must remember this business is more bigger than all of the servers out there. All right, let's not get personal on this. All right, let's talk about the project. This is a technology, this is a community project. We have a mandate, we have our responsibility. And as community, we want to make sure that the overall income or overall business that is supposed to come in is through streaming, which is our core, core business. Of course, uh, our C, what do you call, corporate communication officer was talking to us about uh, what mainnet 2.0 going to do. And then I think they did not even speak to you about mainnet 3.0, because that's another big thing that's coming up along, <laughs> all right? We are continuously evolving, all right? The other thing that goes on and hit you on right on your, on your mind right now, why is the token so low, all right? Guys, don't worry about the token. We know exactly where the token price is going to go, all right? And I'm, I'm so glad the token price is at the, at, at the low price right now. Go and buy as much as you can. Stake in your pro, stake in your enterprise and get the tokens, as much tokens, and put it into your light. Because the next round, what's going to happen is that light will have a booking fee. So those of us who are, who are pioneers in the business here, yeah, we should tell ourselves, I'm glad for the first time I did a fantastic decision <laughs> on, on coming into a business, into a project that actually is growing just like that. Now, as pioneers, everything that we have has grown in value. Our assets have grown in not only just value, but the amount of things that this asset is going to do for us, right? And if you are a holder of uh, Remitron Light, you started off at 250, today staking is 1,000. I mean, it's crazy. That's five times, uh, sorry, four times, right? Next, there's a booking fee is going to come in. So if you are holding your light, don't let it go, guys. Wait, this is not. This is just the beginning. You hang in there. Hold on with your life. If I were you, I will stake more into my life. All right? Go and stake. If you are holding 1,000, stake 5,000, stake 8,000, stake 9,000 into your life. Give it more opportunity. All right? More chances to be in the ecosystem. All right? More times to earn. All right? And uh, some of us who are having Metatrons, fantastic. From 1,250 PTX stake has flown all the way right now to 10,000 PTX. And there's more surprises coming for Metatron as well. So everything, all these assets that we are holding is value. These assets will continuously grow, right? As far as the ecosystem, as far as the applications, uh, or rather dApps, right? Panda Joe, Qtrax, uh, show us, Pandago, many other apps that we are talking about, Vixo and so forth. All these are going to become a money spinner for you, right? And uh, we are also already worked up with the uh, Raja Mangala University in Thailand to create their own Qtrax for them, all right? That's a special, different Qtrax, not our Qtrax, but uh, something similar to that, all right? That's already, uh, they're already doing the beta testing now. Right. In fact, most of the apps are almost ready. Now, let's take this, get the Remitron Enterprise. I think, uh, like Manju said just now, 2nd January, 
actually second January. Yep, correct. Second yeah. January. In fact, I was pushing Manju do it now, but she says no. You know, let Christmas over, let New Year over. Yeah. We will do the five thousand dollars on the booking I do fee. For you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and, and five thousand dollars booking fee for the Remitron Enterprise is still very cheap. Yeah. All right. Let's not cover a lot of things here. Right. And pro, same thing, guys. Six hundred dollars is a steal, but it's going to go up to two thousand dollars. Yeah. And it will grow up some more. All right. Same thing with light. Same thing with mobile. So, uh, let's pull our asset today and say, "Wow, thank you. This is the first time I've got all this asset is growing." But the thing is this, I repeat one more time. Uh, all this, the servers for Remitron Pro and Remitron Enterprise is not from public. It will be from Pando Lab. All right, Pando Lab will decide on, uh, on this on these uh, servers. They already have the uh, MOU signed up and uh, all these are already working, all right? So do not engage with any servers for Remitron Pro and Remitron Enterprise from outside vendors. It will not be recognized. You will not have this thing. All right. I would rather you take your 10,000 PTX for the pro and put it into your light. It will be a better option for you. All right. If you want to use outside vendors service. Okay. That's a quick one. Anyway, my name is Nava. Thank you very much for being here this evening. And I'm so happy and excited about everything that's happening around us. Uh, more so, all right. We have. So many of our CPs and our leaders that actually joined us in WBS. I think that was an amazing thing that happened to, to us, all right? And, uh, and how it was in Thailand. And you know, Thailand, it rocks your heart, all right? It's a beautiful place. And uh, our country partner in Thailand, I think I must take my hands and tell them, thank you so much for the CPs in Thailand. Uh, Boss Ramesh, Boss Lala. Uh, Boss Nora, Boss God for doing the impossible into a possibility of success for all of us. I think that was an amazing thing that Thailand did. And not to be, not to forget the participation of our of our country partners from uh, Brunei, from US. I, I do not expect Frank to fly in from uh, US. I do not expect Phil to fly in from Korea. All right, missing. I mean, connecting so many flights and also things just to be here. Uh, Omni or rather East Malaysia, right? TP from uh, West Malaysia, TP from uh, India, all right? Guys, did I miss out on anybody, Manju? Any other CP? Yeah, Sumatra. <laughs> ah, uh, Sumatra was but Horas, but he has to leave early. He left yeah. on the 10th, all right? Because he has got another big time engagement in uh, Sumatra. And I want to thank all of you. We even had community member buying the tickets and coming there. Oh, yeah. You know, you know. Uh, I think I just have to name this person, uh, uh, Boss Sharifa and her two children actually came to witness this for themselves, all right? And uh, we were very, very excited and uh, so happy that uh, all these people came all the way. Yeah. All right? And uh, you, know, you know what we all would have really missed? Y'all would have really missed Boss Logan. That guy, I mean, Boss Logan, Chief Technology Officer, was just amazing on things. All right. That was that was something that you got to pay. What is four nine nine? One thousand dollars <laughs> just to sit down there and watch him in action and uh, and rock the world with uh, who we are, what we have done, where I mean, everybody. Most of the people, most of the companies and uh, out there are struggling and talking about cryptocurrency and everybody's cryptocurrency is down, right? Uh, literally to the floor, almost. And here we are talking about project, we are talking about applications, we are talking about 2.0, going up to 3.0, right? We are least concerned about pricing. You know why? Because all these activities are going to fly this price. Hang on on your tokens. Because those of you who are selling your token at three cents, four cents, five cents, one cent, two cents, I'm happy you are doing it. You know why? You are giving those guys who are serious players to be able to buy it at a cheaper price so that they can stake. And they know that token is going to go down a dollar by February 2023, guys. All right. And that's happening. All right. That is really, really happening with all the activity that's happening 
around us right now. Next slide, please, guys. Right. So don't think, don't even think about should I or shouldn't I. Just do it. Right. Jump into it. Get your get get your tokens staked. Right. All of you have your rewards. You have your uh, stake tokens released to you. Uh, like what Boss uh, Manju and Pashan has told on the 12th uh, of December. So all of you have the tokens in your wallet. Set up your wallet quickly. Take your token. I know Omni have requested for a special meeting with Boss Abibi. Abibi is here in this meeting. He's a, uh, he has become an amazing presenter in Bata Malaysia. Uh, he also speaks very fluent Chinese or rather Mandarin, right? So he'll be doing this presentation for them. Uh, on how to do this taking, how to capitalize and take advantage of uh, of this, what do you call it, uh, new happening in uh, Pendo, Pendo Lab or rather Pendosoft, right? Or in our Pendo project. Next slide, please. Now, uh, Manju was talking to us, our CMO, Chief Marketing Officer was telling us now with regards to the, uh, what do you call public note. Now, uh, all the while you would have seen the public known as uh, Pendo Lab. Now you will start seeing uh, the public notes, which is will be uh, very much country specific. Like uh, we will have public note as uh, PS Nusantara. PS Nusantara is Indonesia or rather Sumatra. Then we have uh, Brunei. Then we have uh, what do you call uh, PS uh, Malaysia, right? Then we have PS World. Uh, which is uh, which covers East Malaysia, uh, Korea, US, what do you call uh, uh, a few other countries in the uh, which is under under the PS groups that would call the supervision. All right, all these all these notes are there for you to start uh, taking from today onwards. It's all already there. All right, you can stake for your Remitron Mobile. You can stake for your Remitron Light. Just go and stake whichever. Uh, what do you call a public note that you want to choose? Does not matter because these these notes are already there. And uh, refrain yourself from sticking on Pendo Lab uh, note. I think Pendo Lab note will be hidden up, please. But uh, most of you are encouraged to stick in all the uh, public notes that has been put out there. All right, the names are there. You can check it out. Marketing will send you all these names to you. All right, can't read here. Manju is just a little too small, but. Uh, the notes are there for you to check, right? Can that be go down to Explorer Pando Project? Go down to explorer.pandoproject.org. All right, you can check it right now. Okay. And uh, if you need help with sticking, go to docs at pandoproject.org. Right. How to stick. That's basically what you need to do. Next slide, please. Now, this is. Uh, we all know PTX listed on L Bank, and then you know, a couple of days ago, L Bank was talking. What I mean, I cannot do anything with L Bank, L Bank is not working. Do not know what happened to I wanted to buy token, I couldn't buy token. You know, L Bank, uh, their server went down. Now, this is uh, L Bank, their server went down, and then they spoke to us, and then we understand their server went down. But because their server went down, it frustrated our group of people who wanted to buy a lot of tokens that was going cheap down there. All right. They were very, very frustrated. They thought we blocked it. No, no, we didn't block it. Actually, L Bank server went down, guys. Right? But you could have bought it and probe it, all right? But uh, most of you did not go into probe it to buy. Please use L Bank, use probe it. The other two decentralized exchanges will be in soon. That will uh, change the entire playing field here. We will not only just focus on centralized exchanges, we also will have decentralized, decentralized exchanges for you, right? That will be, I think, a massive breakthrough for us. Okay, and uh, we are also working with uh, uh, in Thailand uh, with the security exchange, uh, Thailand, which is will be fantastic if we can uh, list our token with SEC uh, Thailand, uh, which is uh, being in SEC Thailand is, uh, is 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 remarkable. We we had a good sit down with them in uh, Thailand and. Uh, had a good discussion, had a good meeting, and then uh, uh, right now it's just going through the mill to get uh, the exchanger put up in Thailand. And once the Thailand local exchanger comes in, they can they can use BAT 
uh, for PDX, and there's a lot of things we can do from that angle itself. And we are also looking into other countries to come up with local exchanges as well. So there's a lot of activity that's happening. I think uh, PDX is going to become a very, uh, I think, very popular token. Right? It's going to become a very, very popular token. And I'm very proud. This is ours, guys. This is yours as much as it's mine. Right? This is our token. And our token is getting popular daily. Right? Don't worry about the price right now. And I'm not really, really concerned about the pricing right now because I know where this price is going to go, where this token is going to go. And I know how it's going to benefit you and I at the end of the day. Because this is our asset. This is our token. And we will take it up to the way it's supposed to go. We will protect it, guys. You and I are the security system here that takes care of our token. Right? We will not sell this cheap. This is going to be a very pricey token. Okay, next slide, please. Now, like I said just now, the uh, there's new countries coming in now. All right, I think I think WBS and a few of the mainnet 2.0 and everything that's happening, people realize, wow, I thought this was another networking kind of a business, another scam or whatever you call it, right? But every time they look at this from from the time we started to where it is today is getting better and better and better. It is, it, is, it is becoming, I think probably we are setting a new benchmark in the blockchain industry itself, right? The way the entire ecosystem is being built, the way uh, instead of just championing the tokens, we are championing blockchain itself. We are talking about blockchain infrastructure. We are talking about blockchain adoption and blockchain usability. I, I mean, crazy. And uh, I'll show you after this some of the things that uh, we did. Okay, next slide, please, Benji. Now, when you talk about the usability, the adoption, all right, first thing is that uh, let me take a moment just to, uh, how they say, embrace this moment that we had in, uh, in uh, Thailand, 8th and 9th of December, where we launched Officially, Mainnet 2.0 was launched in uh, World Blockchain Summit. You know, people launch their product in their own platform, you know, in the, in a in a in a in an online environment or something like that. But we were very fortunate. We are very very lucky. I think we are the chosen one to be able to do this to launch Pando Project to launch our 2.0 in World Blockchain Summit. I mean, we had a lot of media coverage in Thailand. There's a lot of more new media coverage that's going to come on. And then there's a lot of international coverage that's going to come out soon, all right? This is amazing what, uh, uh, what the team in Thailand has done for us by putting everything, the stage, in a beautiful banner for us. Our booth was amazing, all right? And uh, the way Boss Logan went up and did this, uh, singing the song of Mainnet 2.0. It was just awesome, right? It was just magnificent the way it was done. And I'm proud to tell you, I think we did it with style, right? We did it with class. We gave Mainnet 2.0 the, the, the applause, the, 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 the embracement, all right? The excitement that is solely deserved. This is happened on 8th of nine, eight and 9th of December. Now we are just kicking in on the 19th of uh, December. That was about 10 days ago, give or take, right? There's a lot more excitement that's going to come out from just on this official launch that happened. And let me just show you some of the things that happened in, uh, in WBS during this launch. Next slide, please. Wow. You know, Boss Logan was the star. I think he, would, he looked like a movie star. He looked like an actor. He looked like a, a dynamic, uh, intelligent, very brilliant uh, personality out there. He went up down there, took the mic, looked at the people on the stage, and, and literally everybody was saying, who is this hunk? And uh, what is he doing up here? Looking so polished, so stylish. And he here is wearing this 
what you call this uh, beautiful, uh, uh, I would call this magnificent chain that was given to us from Sarawak, from Bintulu. All right. Our team get gave us and told us that they want to see it on stage. And Boss Logan wore it on stage for them. It carried the name Panasol. It's amazing. And I want to thank the guys in uh, Bintulu, in Sarawak, for making this possible. It's such an honor to carry your name out there, all right, to put, to respect you, to show, to dignify, because you want to dignify us. You want to give us that, uh, uh, you want to say thank you to us. And uh, we are telling thank you to you for giving us this moment. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. We owe you, we, we owe all our community leaders, right? And uh, Boss Logan uh, actually went up on stage with me. That was much more better than the... Can you see the gold badge down there? Manju, can you just highlight the gold badge? Wow. Even that was not as attractive as that uh, little chain given to us. Thank you. Next slide. Uh, we had a lot of activities going on. And uh, this was all the press that came in to discuss with us. This is exactly how our boot looked, pedal project. Choose your role, whether you want to be, what, whichever note that you want to use. This is our boot. And uh, we had a lot of support in our note from our country partners and all that. Yeah, right here, we can see uh, uh, what you call uh, Boss Lala, we can see Boss uh, Achai, we can see Pahwaras, we can see Boss God, we can see what you call, uh, uh, I cannot remember the name, but anyway, so sorry. And then we can see Bro Harry at the back there, we can see Frank there. Is that Augustine at the back there? No, I remember who's not so clear. Is YB, YB Kennedy. Oh, YB Kennedy is showing half of his face. That's why. <laughs> YB, thank you, YB. All right. And uh, of course, we have Manju Pashan and then, uh, and uh, what do you call the team here. And the entire press was out here asking all kinds of questions because nobody talks about a project like this. Everybody talking about uh, cryptocurrencies, tokens and how their tokens are going to be used everywhere. And here we are talking about blockchain in its true essence of it. Next slide, please. All right, same thing here. All right, uh, uh, clear review, yes. Okay, there, why we can be in black coat down there uh, beside Boscat, right? YB is in KL at this point of time, guys. If you all get a chance, say hello to him, all right? Next slide. Wow, this is the whole thing. Literally, most of the people, including our developers, our TP India, all right, our developer team was here, all right, uh, our Omni team, our East Malaysia team, our all our CPs and leaders, but that Dr. Thomas, guys, you know, seriously, having each one of you here with us during the launch, uh, made, you know, it brought that that bonding of the family, the, the togetherness, uh, appreciated, and uh, we felt so good, all right? Doing this, we felt that uh, we are all supported and encouraged all the way to just deliver the project to the best of our ability and make this project an overall success, overwhelming success, and the kind of success that we all had been dreaming about, all right? That is possible. Look at the support. Look at the belief, look at the faith and everybody that having that this project is going to become an outstanding project eventually. Yes, it will be, all right? And all of you can rest assured that we are going to take this project to the next level. Next slide, please, won't you? All right, and we have uh, a few MOU. In fact, two MOU we signed with uh, uh, one with uh, Omni Creators, right? With Omni Creators is on... Uh, the, their role with PS World and uh, how they will be supporting the project, and also with the Cube uh, as a server, as a Cube as, as as a replacement for server and computer. All right, especially in uh, Sarawak where they want they are setting up a Pando farm. All right, I think there's a lot of great things. Uh, Boss Augustine and uh, uh, Dr. Thomas and YB Kennedy, Frank, all right, and team is doing uh, to make. Uh, our project, our not only our project, but you know, to be give to be able to give people uh, a lifestyle, 
an income, uh, what we call uh, to have access, internet access, to be able to participate in a, in a blockchain environment. Hey, there's a lot of things uh, that we call these bosses are doing that uh, we are very, very appreciative. Thank you, Boss Agapin and team. Next slide here, if you, if you see the next slide here, we are having this uh, handshake uh, after signing off the MOU with uh, Dr. Thomas and uh, YB Kennedy. All right. This is also, uh, apart from having the, uh, the involvement in Sarawak, also on, uh, on the ecosystem for, uh, for, for recycling, traceability, for uh, a lot of things that they are coming up and they want, uh, they want to use Pando's uh, technology to build up many, many of these areas where they do not have proper access to the internet. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Next slide. All right, this one is the MOU that we signed with the uh, terrible, and they are supported very strongly by the India team. I, you can see the India team right down there. The, the uh, what do you call, and then there is also the, the what do you call, uh, if you look at here, there's Thomas Birai here, all right, right at the back there. All right, of course, Boss Michelle is there, all right. Uh, Boss Eddie from Philippines is here, all right. And uh, amazing, we have all this team is here. Right, and they all want to make sure that this project goes up to the next level. Thank you, guys. Slide. This is this picture here uh, is with the World Blockchain Summit uh, CMO, who was very very impressed with our blockchain infrastructure, with the way that we are doing things. In fact, I think he wants to have a, a little discussion, a, a few more discussions with Boss Logan on. Uh, how we can do some things together with WBS as well, all right? So we think that we are going to work on, right, uh, with WBS of this, and uh, this could become one of our platform to promote us everywhere. Next slide. Oh. Today, I would like to present to you the blockchain infrastructure as a service. And at the same time, I'm going to launch Pendo Mainnet 2.0 today in this event. Year 2018. When you know my my partner, who is my CEO, came up with this idea of decentralizing the video industry. We ourselves have been working with the video applications for many years. By the statistics, you know, in year 2020, reach 327 billion. It's a huge, big industry. What we call is the centralized delivery networks, where big companies like Google. Amazon, you know, Alibaba set up data center to every each point and here is the where you know the, the point of presence who works where your data get delivered, which is we call it Pendo Project. <laughs> That was amazing. I want to thank Banju and Pashan for putting this together. Thank you so much, guys. And uh, the other thing is that, guys, uh, just before I pass it on to Banju and Pashan, 
I just want to tell you all this. Just do not get locked on and uh, just start focus. Just think about, just put your entire project into just the token. It's just powered by the token. There's a lot of things that's powering it. Look at everything that's powering this entire project. Guys, this project is worth billions of dollars. Let's not just summarize it with a token. Right? With that, big success waiting for us. Let's all join hand in hand. Together, let's make this happen. We are here to support, to make this happen, to take this project to the next level. With that, thank you very much. Have a wonderful night. And uh, back to our superstars, Manju <laughs> and Pashan. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, I really mean it. Uh, he really comes with the bank and leads to the bank. <laughs> so that was a very beautiful video. I think that really sums up our journey in WBS. It was so beautiful because uh, it showed a lot about our project. Uh, we were supported by all the country partners. Uh, we had community members who were there and everybody was just really crowding our booth because it was very unique. It really stood out uh, amongst all of these beautiful, uh, beautiful blockchain projects out there. Uh, of course, of course, you know, a lot of things were interesting, but uh, we, we just went around and saying like, hey, you can do it with us too. You know, we can do it too. And we can help you build and take you to another level. So that's what, that's what we are going to become. We're going to be uh, a project that powers other project. We're going to be uh, a project that empowers other people's ideas and take them to another level with us. So that that really put us out there instead of instead of talking about how we are better than others. You know, we were there to like, hey, I'm here. I'm here to help you. I'm here to to do this with you. I'm here to help you out with whatever that you need. So it was very, very different. You know, people who come to our booth uh, come with a very different expectation, you know, thinking that we're going to pitch like, oh, this is the best thing out there. This is very unique. Not We never spoke back. That's definitely not our pitch, you know. That's that's not the way we, we uh, put ourselves out there. Pattern Project is a technology. It's a infrastructure that we are offering to anybody, absolutely everybody. So it was very nice to see our crowd and our, our booth had so much of crowd, so much of press, so much of people having questions, so much of investors coming on board, like, how do I be part of this project, you know? And uh, it, it was exciting because we are so used to building this entire uh, mega business off of Zoom, right? <laughs> We literally developed this entire project in COVID and being able to be out there meeting our country partners and, and, and talking about a project face to face to people. It was a very different experience. And to see our CTO on the stage uh, talking about a project, it really felt surreal. It felt, it felt very different. And uh, the, the video really uh, did justice, I would say to a certain level. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of other videos that we have been creating to make sure that we deliver the same emotion to you guys, the same amount of excitement and feelings to you guys. So stay tuned for another another beautiful video that we'll be posting tomorrow. And uh, this week is going to be a, a week for education. There's going to be a lot of educative materials that are going to go out. So please take a moment to follow all of our our social media platforms, you know, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Discord. Right now, Discord is heavily maintained by marketing and also the IT development. So for people, because ever since we're in 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 the in the light now, ever since we have put ourselves out there, we are getting a lot of developers. So we we really need to be supported with the IT team as well. So Discord is a beautiful place that we are creating and building. So be in the Telegram group, be also in Discord. Uh, soon enough, we'll also try to open up a forum section uh, in our website. There's so much of development that are taking place as we speak. So be, uh, be updated. Stay tuned to all of our Pando updates that uh, we come in section, right? Uh, the, the, the trios that comes with 
a little bit of information, a little bit of updates, and a little bit of excitement, or maybe a tiny bit more excitement. Yeah. So I, I am just happy with um, how WBS turned out and how Mainnet 2.0 is uh, coming on board. And uh, the, the funny part is we're already talking about Mainnet 3.0. We just launched 2.0 and 3.0 is around the corner. That's how fast the development has been. I think that's nothing to complain about. <laughs> I think we just need to start running, right? We've been we've been walking together. We've been marching together. I think it's about time we get on top of a horse and we just move forward real fast in a lightning speed, right? Usain Bolt, who? <laughs> Fed Loop Project is faster than that guy. So, so keep up, keep up with our updates. And uh, once again, I need to remind you guys Panda project is biased now, right? So we are blockchain infrastructure as a service, but never forget where we came from. Our roots is technology powered by community. So beautifully said. <laughs> very, very beautifully said. Thank you so much, uh, Chief Nava, Chief Manju. Thank you so much for all the information that you've been sharing. But I like to repeat what Manju said. Yeah, this month, there's a lot of information because this month is, uh, this month and next month is staking month is buying PTX and staking. So there's a lot of new information that we have for you. So do stay active in the Telegram group. Do share the information that you receive on Telegram on the Telegram group with your other community members, with your friends, with your family members, right? To keep them updated on this project. Don't leave them behind in Minnet 1.0. We, we are moving to 2.0 aggressively. So let's move together hand in hand. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you so much for your attention and thank you so much for continuing to support what we do. Right yep. so now, mainnet 3.0 2023. Let's let's look look forward to that. In the meantime, start staking your Ramatron, start buying your PTX today. Yes. Thank you. Thank you guys and Merry Christmas. <laughs> Little too early, but Merry Christmas, guys. <laughs> <laughs>